All right, we are on lesson 19. Our objective says I will be able to solve one-step equations using addition. My pencil is breaking. Addition, subtraction, inverse operations, and balancing equations. So we're using addition, subtraction, inverse operation, and balancing equations to solve one-step equations. So an equation. This is a huge thing that you will see over and over and over. Is a statement that uses an equal sign. An equation always has an equal sign. If you see an equal sign in it, you know it is an equation. If it does not have an equal sign, it is an expression. So an equation is a statement that uses an equal sign to show that two qualities, or excuse me, quantities are equal. A solution of an equation, so solution is your keyword right there, a solution of an equation in one variable is a value that makes the equation true. So an equation has an equal sign and a solution is a value that makes that equation true. So for example, in example one it says to state whether the value of the variable is a solution to the equation. So we want to know does this make this equation true? So x plus 6 for equals 9 for x equals Three. So to figure that out, all I've got to do is plug in or substitute that value. Plug in or substitute that 3 for that x. So 3, I'm plugging in this to this equation. 3 plus 6 equals 9. I, I wrote everything exactly what, how it was. I just replaced this x with this 3. Now let's evaluate any operations that we have. 3 plus 6 equals 9. Okay, well, I see an, excuse me, an addition sign right there. So let's evaluate that. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 equals 9. Now we have to figure out, is that true? Does 9 equal 9? Yes, it does. So it says to state whether the value is a solution. Yes. This is a solution because it makes the equation true. Okay? Let's try this. Same thing here. I've got x minus 6 equals 9 for x equals 3. So I'm plugging in this value of 3 to figure out, does it make this equation true? Okay? So 3 minus 6 equals 9. Well, 3 minus 6, that gives me a negative 3 equals 9. Is that true? Does negative 3 equal 9? No, so not a solution. That is not a solution because that is not true. Negative 3 is not equal to 9, so it's a solution if it makes the equation true. Now, to balance equations or to solve equations, this is giving you a solution. What we're now going to do is figure out how can I find a solution if I'm not given the value of x. Well, to do that, what we've got to do is we've got to balance equations. Okay, An equation is like a balance scale. A scale remains balanced when the same quantity is added or subtracted to both sides. So what I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the exact same thing, or excuse me, I have to do the exact same thing to the other. So if we add or subtract the same quantity, the same quantity to both sides of an equation, the equation remains the same. It does not change. So to balance an equation, we can either add or subtract the same quantity to both sides. So these properties tell you that that is true. You can add the same number to both sides of an equation, and the equation will still be true. Let's see how that works, okay? 2 equals 2. That's an equation. That's just an example equation. It is true that 2 equals 2. Now, if I took that equation, it's an equation because it has an equal sign. If I took that equation, and on both sides of it, each equation is split up down the middle at the equal side into two sides, the left side and the right side, okay? So if I took that equation and I added 3 to both sides, would it still be true? Well, let's see. I've got 2 over here, I've got 2 over here. Let's add 3 to the left side and add 3 to the right side. I add 3 to this 2 and I get 5. I add 3 to this 2 and I get 5. Okay? Is it true that 5 equals 5? It absolutely is. So you can add the same quantity to both sides of an equation, and it just does not change the value. That's the addition property of equality. The same holds for subtraction. Okay? I've got 10 equals 10. That is a true equation. Now, if I took that 10 and I subtracted 4 on the left side, and I subtracted 4 on the right side, okay? what you do to one side of the equation, if you do the exact same thing to the other, that equation remains true. It's true that 10 equals 10. It's true that 6 equals 6. What I did is I said, okay, here's two sides of the equation. The left side, it's always split up at the equal side. On the left side and the right side. If I subtract 4 from both sides, this equation remains true. 10 minus 6 is, or excuse me, 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 4 is 6. So it remains true. Now, 
what we've got here is we've got, you can fill this in, inverse operations are operations that undo each other. To solve an equation, so when solving an equation, what we do is we use inverse or opposite operations. So we isolate the variable on one side by using opposite operations. Now the opposite operations or the inverse operations. The opposite of subtraction <coughs> is addition. Those two are opposite operations. They, they are the opposite of each other, so they undo each other. All right? And then the opposite of division is multiplication. So multiplication and division are opposites. Okay, Multiplication and division are opposites. And addition and subtraction are opposites. So if we're solving an equation that has addition, we want to use subtraction. If we're solving an, application, an, oper, ooh, Lord, an equation that has multiplication, we want to use division. So let's do that. Here, if you, if you are asked to solve an equation, to solve an equation, first thing you do is you find that equal sign and you split it up. You draw what I like to call a wall. Draw a wall right here, put an arrow at the end. That shows that I keep dropping down that equal sign. So what you do when you draw the wall, you split your equation up into two sides, the left side and the right side, or as sometimes I like to call it, the goon side and the goblin side. Now that, there's a tricky little way that that helps you remember, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, you split it up into two sides. Then I figure out, okay, which side is my variable on? My variable is right here on the left side or the goon side. Now, I see what operation is on the same side as that variable. Well, I see subtraction. So to get rid of or to undo that subtraction or to solve this equation, I want to use the opposite of this subtraction. What is the opposite of subtraction? It is addition. So I want to use opposite operations. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So to get rid of minus 3, all I've got to do is add 3. Now, what you do to one side, what you do to one side, you always have to do to the other side. So if I add 3 on this side, I've got to add 3 on that side. Okay, the reason I call these goons and goblins is because this helps you remember. What's good for the goon is good for the goblin. What you do for one side, you've got to do to the other side. Okay, so an equation is always split up down the middle at the equal sign. Remember, these properties showed us that if I add the same number to both sides, it does not change my value. So I added 3 to the goon side, I added 3 to the goblin side. Now let's see what happens. I've got minus 3 plus 3. If I subtract and add the same number, those two cancel out, okay? It goes to zero. That's like negative three plus three. Those three cancel out. All I've got left is x. x equals 12 plus three, which is 15. I've solved that equation. I am done, okay? It says to solve, then check the solution. To check it, all I've got to do is figure out, is that true? Is it true x minus three equals 12? Well, what did we just figure out x was? 15. 15 minus 3 equals 12. Is that true? Well, yeah, what is 15 minus 3? It's 12. 12 equals 12. So 15 is a solution. So to solve it, to solve an equation, the first thing you've got to do, take it, find the equal sign, split it up, okay? Draw your wall. You've got your goons. You've got your goblins. Now, a lot of people like to have their variable over on the goon side, okay? A lot of people like to have their variable on the goon side. I think that that's easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this equation. Because these two are equal, you can change the order and it doesn't matter. Okay? If, if 5 equals 4, is it also true that 4 equals 5? Yeah, it is. I can switch the order and it's not going to change anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this n minus 8. I'm going to flip it over here on the goon side. n minus 8 equals negative 15. You can flip it if you keep everything exactly the same. The only reason I do that is because a lot of people just like to, for consistency's sake, always keep their variable over on the goon side. So, now, I've got, a, I've got this variable right here. I've got this n. I figure out what operation is on the same side as this n. Well, I see a minus 8. To get rid of or to undo that minus 8, I want to do the opposite of subtraction. Opposite of subtraction is addition, so I add 8. Okay? Now... What's good for the goon is good for the goblin. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So if I add 8 here, I need to add 8 here. Okay? I bring down my n. Those two have canceled. Negative 8 plus 8. Those two cancel out. It gives you 0. I bring down my n. I've got n equals negative 15 plus 8. I go same sign, add and keep. 
Different sides subtract. 15 minus 8 is 7. Take the sign of the higher number. That's negative 7. All right. So I split it down the middle. I got my variable on the goon side, and I use opposite operations. All right. We'll, we'll check that one. Let's go ahead and move on. This one just says to solve k plus 7 equals 13. Again, take it, split it right down the middle. Goons, goblins. Okay? You split it down the middle at the equal sign because a equation is split into two sides right there at the equal sign. Now, I figure out, where's my variable? Where's my variable? There it is. Okay. What operation is on the same side as my variable? Well, that's addition. To get rid of addition, I use subtraction. So I subtract 7. If I do it on the left side or the goon side, what's good for the goon is good for the goblin. Okay, so minus 7 on the goon side, minus 7 on the goblin side. Those cancel. I've got k equals 13 minus 7, which is just 6. Okay, so k equals 6 is my answer. This one didn't say to check, but let's check it real quick. It should be true if k is the correct answer that 6 plus 7 equals 13. All I'm doing is plugging that back into this original equation right here. Is that true? What is 6 plus 7? It's 13. 13 equals 13. That is true. Last one. I've got negative 21 equals P plus 9. First thing I've got to do is split it right down the middle. Wherever you see that equal sign, split it up into goons and goblins. Okay? Or split it up into the left side and the right side. The goons and goblins is just to help you remember it. I find my variable. Where is it? It's over here on the right. It's over here on the goblin side. Let's flip it. Let's put it on the goon side. So P plus 9 equals negative 21. I flipped them, but I wrote it exactly the same. Okay? I keep my signs and everything exactly how it is. Now that my variable's on my goon side, I say, okay, well, what am I solving? Excuse me, solving for? I'm solving for this P. What's on the same side as the P? This plus 9. How can I get rid of plus 9? I do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. To get rid of addition, I use subtraction. What I do to one side, I've got to do to the other side. What's good for the goon is good for the goblin. So I've got to, if I subtract 9 over here, I've got to subtract 9 over here. Those cancel. I drop down my P. I've got P equals... Let's change subtraction to addition, change the sign of the second term. I've got negative 21 plus negative 9. I go same signs, add, and keep. 21 plus 9 gives me 30. Same signs, add, and keep. Those are both negative, so I keep it as negative. P equals negative 30. That is all for this one.